Hi guys, I thought I'd come on here and give just a little, not really update, but like, I guess how I'm going, um, since the last, um, update wasn't as good a one. Um, I am going fine, um, uh, last week was a struggle, I will say that, um, it hit me harder than I wanted it to, um, there were no tears or anything. I just felt very foolish um, and upset at myself. And it's quite funny because, um, like, I didn't go to work. I didn't go to dance on Monday night because of that. And then on Tuesday night, my arm actually played up. Um, and I couldn't even hold my arm like this um, or even put it up like that without severe pain. I could feel it a little tiny bit. Um, but yeah, nothing. And so I didn't go to, um, I didn't go to dance on Wednesday either. I just took some codeine and I took some ibuprofen and Penadol and I had a heat pack and I took my water bottle and I just tried to, um, put my water bottle up against the wall and kept rubbing my back against it. Um, cause I had like a big knot or something my friend was saying. Um, sorry, I think these glasses are actually filthy um yeah so I and I was still feeling it I didn't really want to socialize with anybody I did I had my friend come over on Thursday and then I had a friend come over yesterday and I have a friend coming over today um yeah just was a little bit crazy um I could uh, I could see that I was really tired because Friday night I was in bed probably by 11 and I slept till 10 30 yesterday so definitely tired um and last night i went to bed at two and i woke up this morning at nine so definitely feeling better um i have a house inspection tomorrow all my laundry is hanging up in my living room because there's no space because it's winter here and my flatmate has got her laundry drying as well so it's a little bit crazy um but i've got everything opened up and airing out it's 19 or 20 degrees outside today, so hopefully um, the wind will just blow the clothes. Um, it is supposed to rain, so I can't really put my stuff out. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, I felt like a little bit like a fool, but it's over and done with now. No, I did not hear from him again. Didn't really expect that I would. Um, guess I kind of had hope that I would, but no, nah. <laughs> obviously. It was absolutely nothing. Um, so just gonna leave it. I mean, I'm going home. I am trying to get everything organized. Hopefully this week I will get travel insurance with my tax rebate. Um, I'm also paying for a tough girl ta challenge, tough girl, tough guy challenge in Rotorua in August. About eight of us are going down. Um, all old work colleagues, they did it about they did it in a 2012 or 2013 they did it um and I didn't do it then because I was doing baby stuff then um and I had just had an embryo put back in so I wasn't allowed to do it um it's gonna be cold it's gonna be muddy ass um I don't know what I'm doing I need to make sure I get into shape for it <laughs> a little bit scared but it'll be great um so going to do that um, so yeah, I need to pay for that as well. Um, it's $120 each for the two nights or $135 for the two nights, which isn't too bad. And then, um, $60 for the fee. So I'm going to pay that this week and yeah, I was going to wait, but I'll just pay it. Um, yeah. And I'm getting my hair straightened this week. Um, so ugh, I wish there was a sale on. Um, but there's not that I'm aware of. So, yeah. I had to pay $390. I get my hair completely straightened, but it will last me for six months to a year. So, I can't complain. And it means that hopefully all this frizziness will go away. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of the update on what's happening. It is my baby brother's birthday at home so i wish him a happy birthday um and 
yeah, I'm just busy getting stuff organized, ready to go, <clears throat> and just trying to live life here to the fullest, really. Um, and the dating will come later. I don't know if I will go back on a dating site. Apparently, 38 to 43 percent of catfishing happens on dating apps with women over the age of 40. So, I'm not sure whether that's going to deter me or not, but it's hard to find dating apps because a lot of them you have to pay for. Um, so yeah, now I'm a little bit reluctant about it, but like I said, I've got a lot on my plate, a lot going on, and um, I might just give it a miss, and if God wants me to date someone or be with someone, he will make it happen. I mean, I'm going on a 13-hour flight very soon. Um, I just, I'm really hoping that God doesn't do something crazy and like make me meet somebody on the flight who is going home and wants to stay home because I would not I would not not understand I said to somebody I would not understand why I had to come here and then go back home because I really do not want to be home people always ask me if I would ever move back the answer is always no I have a career here I have friends here I do have family that I consider family here even though they're not blood family I have a real life here and at home I get so bogged down with um, what's going on with my family that I forget to live I yeah I forget to live for myself um, it's also very complicated for me to go home because my career will transfer yes but it will take like three to six months for that that happens and then what do you do um, and it wouldn't get paid as much so, I kind of like it here. Um, and I'm always busy, whereas if I was at home, I wouldn't be busy because my two best friends actually live in opposite ends of where my mom is. I would probably hang out with my cousin a little bit more. But, um, yeah, uh, my two best friends live far apart from each other. Um, so, yeah, it would be hard. And then you've got... My dad, that lives about, well, depending on where you look at it, an hour or 20 minutes away from my, one of my best friends, depending on where she is, whether she is out of town or in town. Um, but yeah, I am just pulled in a hundred different ways when I am at home. And I am not pulled in a hundred different ways here. Yes, I sometimes wish that I was in Rotorua and sometimes wish that I could be in Christchurch but those are not reality and the best thing for me unfortunately is in Auckland which is a busy, busy city but um yeah I am doing all right um I am picking myself up and dusting myself off and I am back to concentrating on me and not a boy and my relationship with God and even though that never faltered um, that's one thing that this did teach me is that, um, you know, he was at the utmost of this relationship or whatever it was. And I didn't budge on those boundaries and I didn't, um, just dive in with my heart. I had lots of conversations. Um, yeah, it's nice because I know that some people kind of think, oh, she'll just swoon at anybody and... She just so badly wants to have a husband and children that she would just um, settle for anyone. But um, I won't. And I think I've proved that again um, now. Um, yeah, it didn't hit me as hard as people thought it was going to. But um, underlying it did do some damage to me a little bit I guess um you guess you can't really go through those experiences without um there being something that bothers you about it but yeah anyways I am going to go and start my day and finish my coffee and yeah I will talk to you later bye